we amputate him in face to his mother and his sister because there is no space. You cannot imagine this. This is our best. We cannot do more. The hospital was surrounded by the snipers. Many of people were injured and killed. I'm losing hope and I am saying that the ones who passed away in the few days were very lucky. They didn't witness a two month of terrifying days and nights. We moved the, the staff, our colleagues from the shelter to the new shelter and of course they were asking if it was safe. And I cannot say to my staff that this place is safe. I mean, there's no safe place in Gaza. I get uh, you know, awake suddenly and start crying, start calming them down and distracting them that there is a fireworks, not the bombing. My son was asking me a few days ago, Mom, can we leave Gaza now? I really just want to live. I am afraid that I will die from hunger or I will see you dying in between my hands because somebody shot you and we couldn't save you, Mom.